in August 2016. Jonathan Simon and I created the foundation to what now concluded its first year, the Rocky Mountain Review. I'm Oscar Lorandi. Hey guys, welcome to this edition of the Rocky Mountain Review. It's March 29th on a Wednesday. It's beautiful outside in Fort Collins. We have plenty to talk about today. We're going to start off with some local news covering the vandalism of the Islamic Center as well as other things. We jumped onto the political spectrum, knowing it would propel us forward. Our first real test came at the hands of the Donald Trump rally in Loveland when he ran in the primaries. The electrifying patriotism and political importance we felt took over and created the staple for the Rocky Mountain Review. Listeners would tune in to see who would we be interviewing next. To my surprise, Jill Stein, Green Party presidential candidate at the time, agreed to meet with me. The Rocky Mountain Review solidified its state as more than a college news show, but as an objective news source. We went from doing state and national politics to local, covering this past year's ASCSU election too. Ultimately, it was the encouragement and complete buy-in by the Rocky Mountain Review staff that helped grow our credibility and our craft. Elizabeth Tango, Madison O'Connor, Austin White, Tony Villalobos May, Tyler Duncan, all those guys helped create a special concept and now it's time that we pass it on. As year one ended, year two began. Gabe Peterson and Julia Batalise will be taking over as news directors with everything in front of them ready to grow. So again, for John and I here on 90.5 KCSU in the Rocky Mountain Review, for all our reporters, make sure to tune in next week and make sure to donate. Uh, we're signing off. Have a good weekend, guys.